Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. He makes his livings growing fibers in the desert. It's time for this week's STEAM Profile. Our focus today, science, technology, and math. CBS2 meteorologist Evelyn Taft introduces us to a cotton farmer. It's just 9 in the morning in eastern Riverside County's Palo Verde Valley. Are you down on 24th Avenue? Jack Seiler's work day is halfway over. Hopefully those will stick and make a bowl. In this desert farming community on the Arizona border, daytime temperatures routinely exceed 105 degrees. Fortunately for his business, cotton likes the heat. Cotton is one of Jack's most in-demand crops. It can become t-shirts, jeans, most anything. Of all the steam disciplines, cotton farming relies most on technology, math, and science. Especially a solid understanding of weather patterns. Every crop has its preferred climate. That's the temperature and conditions in which it thrives. Cotton likes 105, 110 degree days, but it likes cool nights under 80. This morning it was 81. It should have been 79. That increase of two degrees has been happening a lot and impacts productivity. I can't get the yield per acre that I used to five years ago. Despite the challenges and weather uncertainties, Jack can't see himself doing anything but farming. His son Ryan is following in his footsteps, following a 55-year family tradition. We started farming in 1967, and we've been going at it ever since. The thing he loves about this challenging lifestyle, the way the plants he grows impact us all. And for more on STEAM careers, just go to our website, cbsla.com slash STEAM.